The Acid Rain Deep within the heart of an impenetrable forest, shrouded in mists that whispered secrets of old, there existed a tribe untouched by time. This was the realm of the Aelwyn, a people of magic and mystery, whose very existence was woven into the fabric of the ancient woods. The forest itself, with towering trees older than memory, protected the Aelwyn with roots that entwined like guardian serpents and leaves that murmured in the wind, a language known only to them. To the outside world, they were but a myth, a whisper of wonder in a rapidly vanishing world of magic. The Aelwyn lived in harmony with the forest, their homes built not from the trees, but amongst them, elevated platforms and woven dwellings that swayed with the boughs, becoming part of the living landscape. They drew their power from the earth, the air, and the stream, elements that spoke to them in a symbiotic embrace. Magic was not merely a tool but a way of life, infusing everything from the simplest daily tasks to the grand ceremonies that celebrated the cycles of nature and life itself. At the heart of their society was the Council of Elders, a revered group whose wisdom and power were the pillars upon which the Aelwyn's existence rested. These venerable beings, who had seen the passing of centuries through the slow dance of the seasons, governed with a gentle hand and a deep understanding of the balance of all things. They were the custodians of ancient knowledge, guardians of the secrets that lay at the core of their magic. Under their guidance, the tribe flourished in seclusion, a hidden jewel nestled in the bosom of the untamable wilderness, a testament to the enduring enchantment of the world's hidden corners. As the world outside changed, the Aelwyn felt the ripples of its tumult within the heart of their sanctuary. The once clear streams began to murmur in distress, their waters tainted by unseen forces, and the ancient trees groaned under the weight of the air, now thick with a malaise that seeped through the protective embrace of the forest. Wildlife, once vibrant and plentiful, grew scarce, their songs and calls dimming in the creeping silence. It was a sign, a forewarning, that the balance they had cherished and protected for so long was under threat. The Council of Elders, sensing the urgency of these shifts, convened beneath the eldest tree, its roots entwined with the very heart of the earth. In the flickering light of bioluminescent flora, they deliberated, their ancient faces etched with concern. The decision was solemn, born of necessity, they would counteract, harnessing their collective magic and wisdom to heal the wounds inflicted upon their realm. It was a declaration of guardianship, not just for their own sake, but for the very essence of nature that they were intrinsically part of. The Aelwyn, led by the Elders, would venture beyond the veil of their seclusion, reaching out to mend what had been broken, reaffirming their bond with the earth in a bid to restore the harmony that had been their foundation for eons. So, on a day so secret to them the civilized world never knew its meaning or importance, the elders gathered under the ghostly glow of a waning moon. Their voices, low and haunting, melded with the whispers of the wind, invoking a ritual older than time itself. They sought to purify the earth, to cleanse it of the sins of humanity that weighed heavily upon its soil. But in their quest for salvation, they unwittingly unleashed a horror beyond their wildest nightmares. Miles away, the small town of Greyhaven slept quietly, unaware of the ancient forces stirring in the night. As dawn broke, a thick, ominous cloud veiled the sun, casting the world into an eerie twilight. Then came the rain, a torrential downpour that hissed and steamed upon the ground, etching deep scars into the earth. It was no ordinary storm. It was a deluge of acid, burning everything it touched, leaving a trail of devastation in its wake. Among the residents of Greyhaven was Sarah, a young teacher who had always been fascinated by the legends of old. She watched in horror as the rain corroded the world around her, turning the once vibrant town into a desolate wasteland. Her curiosity turned to dread as she realized that this was no natural disaster, it was the manifestation of something far more sinister. As the rain continued to fall, Sarah sought refuge in the town's library, poring over ancient texts and forgotten lore in search of an answer. 
She discovered tales of the elders and their rituals, stories of a time when magic ruled the land and the boundaries between worlds were thin. The more she read, the more she understood the gravity of their mistake. The elders had intended to purify the earth, but instead, they had summoned a curse, a curse that now threatened to consume them all. Determined to halt the acid rain and salvage her town, Sarah embarked on a perilous expedition into the depths of the ancient forest. Guided by the whispers of the wind and the wisdom contained within the ancient texts, she navigated her way to the sacred grove where the ritual had originated. Upon her arrival, the reception from the elders was anything but welcoming. Suspicious of her motives and guarded about their secrets, they initially resisted her pleas for help. However, Sarah, fueled by determination and a deep understanding of the stakes involved, engaged in a relentless effort to sway their hearts. With passionate arguments and heartfelt appeals, she underscored the urgency of the situation and the potential for humanity to alter its path. After much deliberation, touched by her resolve and recognizing the truth in her words, the elders gradually shifted their stance. In an unprecedented decision, they agreed to reverse their magic, granting humanity a chance to change its course of action and avert the looming disaster. Together, they attempted to reverse the ritual, to undo the harm they had caused. But the forces they had awakened were not so easily quelled. The forest came alive around them, twisted and malevolent, and snaring them in its grasp. Vines as sharp as blades and roots as strong as steel bound them, dragging them deeper into the darkness. As Sarah fought against the encroaching shadows, she realized the true cost of their actions. The rain was not a punishment but a warning, a reminder that some powers were not meant to be wielded by mortals. With her last breath, she whispered an apology, not just to the earth, but to all of humanity, for the hubris that had led them to this end. The rain finally ceased, its relentless assault coming to an end, but the salvation it brought was overshadowed by the irreversible destruction it left behind. Greyhaven, once a thriving town, now lay in desolate ruins, a stark, grim reminder of the consequences of tampering with powers that elude human understanding. The structures that had stood proudly were now but skeletons, their frameworks eroded by the acidic downpour. Streets once bustling with life were now silent, marked by the scars of the catastrophe. The survivors, a mere handful of the population that had once called Greyhaven home, gathered what little they could salvage. With heavy hearts and the burden of loss weighing down their spirits, they embarked on a journey away from the wreckage of their lives. In their minds and in their whispered conversations, they carried the harrowing stories of the cursed rain that had obliterated everything they held dear, and of the ancient, arcane ritual that had summoned this disaster upon them. These tales, steeped in sorrow and caution, would become part of their legacy, a warning for future generations. Meanwhile, deep within the embrace of the forest that had witnessed the unfolding of these tragic events, the elders stood as silent sentinels. These venerable beings, who had initiated the ritual with intentions of cleansing, now found themselves bound eternally to the very essence of the land they had endeavored to purify. Around them, the forest thrived, oblivious to the desolation that lay beyond its borders, a sanctuary untouched by the chaos that had ravaged Greyhaven. The elders, with the wisdom of ages that flowed through their veins, became the custodians of a profound secret, a knowledge so potent and sacred that it was destined to remain undisturbed beneath the canopy of ancient trees. In their eternal vigil, they served as the guardians of this secret, a pact forged with the earth itself to never again meddle in the forces that govern the balance of life and death. As the years drifted into decades, the tale of Greyhaven and its devastating acid rain transformed into a mere specter of folklore, a dark fable murmured around the dying embers of campfires. To the wider world, Sarah's warnings were nothing but the ramblings of a deluded mind, her dire predictions dismissed as fantasy. Humanity, entrenched in its ways, continued on its path, unswayed by the pleadings of one who had witnessed the truth. The elders, those ancient guardians of the earth, 
waited with a patience born of centuries, their hope for change dwindling with each passing season. Sarah, her heart heavy with the knowledge of what was to come, watched as the world remained oblivious to its fate. The final rain, she knew, was inevitable, a cataclysm that would engulf the civilizations of man, a purging fire in liquid form meant to erase the affronts against the earth. It was not redemption that awaited humanity, but a reckoning, a tragic culmination of its own folly and a final testament to the unheeded warnings of those who had tried to alter its course. Dare to venture into the unknown. Join us on a journey where shadows whisper and secrets lurk. Subscribe now and ring the bell to summon fresh mysteries directly to your screen every few days. Ignore this call, and be warned, an eternal curse awaits those who wander in the dark, unguided. Do you have the courage to face the unknown? Your adventure begins with a click. Welcome to the realm where every notification brings you closer to the abyss. Subscribe, if you dare.